नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ लव ओझा फ्रॉम डेमोस्ट्रेशन मल्टीपर्पज स्कूल भुवनेश्वर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी स्टडीड अबाउट क्रॉप मैनेजमेंट दैट इज क्रॉप वेराइटी इंप्रूवमेंट क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन इंप्रूवमेंट एंड क्रॉप प्रोटेक्शन इंप्रूवमेंट इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एनिमल हजबेंड्री दैट मीन्स साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एनिमल लाइव स्टॉक एंड इट इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ब्रीडिंग फीडिंग एंड डिजीज कंट्रोल इट इंक्लूड्स कैटल गोट सेप पोल्ट्री बी कीपिंग एंड फिश फार्मिंग वी विल सी वन बाई वन फर्स्ट वन इज कैटल फार्मिंग पर्पस ऑफ कैटल फार्मिंग इज फर्स्ट वन इज मिल्क प्रोडक्शन एंड मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड मिल्च एनिमल्स एंड सेकेंड पर्पस इज डॉट लेबर दैट मीन्स प्लॉइंग टाइलिंग वर्क एंड दे आर कॉल्ड ड्रॉट एनिमल्स फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट इज to increase the milk production how milk production can be increased it can be increased by increasing the lactation period what is the lactation period lactation period is the lactation period it is the period of producing milk after the birth of the calf and many foreign breeds has excellent excellent lactation period but what is the demerit in them they are less resistant to diseases then how this problem can be solved actually some local breeds have excellent resistant capacity they are resistant to many diseases then we can cross breed between foreign breeds with local breeds to get the animals with desired qualities for example as can you can see in the picture jersey is a foreign breed it can be cross breed with or local breed that is red sindhi and we can the get the desired animals of the desired quality that means animals that will give that have long and very excellent lactation period and also they are resistant to diseases now feeding as we know cattle require feeding and food requirements are of two types first one is maintenance requirement that is food required by the animals that help them to live a healthy life and second requirement is milk production that means this food is required for producing milk during lactation period and these requirements are different for lactation period that means during lactation period the animals require more protein the food that are rich in protein and fats and annual feed also include roughage roughage means the food that are rich in fibers and concentrates now next one is disease control various diseases are due to various parasites and germs 
एंड दे कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड बाय बाय प्रिवेंटिव एज वेल एज क्यूरेटिव मेथड वन बाय वन वी सी व्हाट आर द डिजीजेज एंड हाउ और व्हाट स्टेप्स कैन बी टेकन टू प्रिवेंट द डिजीजेज फर्स्ट वन इज पारासाइट्स parasites are of two types external and internal external parasites cause skin disease skin disease where is internal parasites like worms causes various diseases to intestine they affect intestine and liver then how they can be cured most important thing is by adopting preventive measures as we know prevention is better than cure and cattles also suffer from disease caused due to various germs that is bacteria and viruses for that we have to take necessary action to keep the environment clean that means proper cleaning and shelter facilities well ventilated roof sheds sloping floor that is to prevent logging of water around and it will prevent the spread of larva of mosquitoes and other insects and also time to time time vaccination is required as a preventive measure now next one is poultry farm it is a very easy and effective in india it is actually raising domestic fowl or for a egg production and chicken meat again management require breeding feeding and disease control how first one is breeding it is cross breeding between indigenous that means local breed with foreign breed as you can see in the picture example is acil it is a local breed it can be cross breed with leghorn which that one is foreign breed and then we will get the desired result that means a fall that has good number of egg laying capacity and also resistant to diseases next egg and broiler production it is management practices that include maintenance of optimal temperature hygiene and prevention and control of diseases and there are difference between broiler and egg layers what are differences first broilers they are raised for obtaining meat whereas egg layer are raised for producing eggs in the case of broilers they require conditions to grow fast and low motility whereas egg layers require enough space and adequate lighting so that they can lay their eggs sufficient in sufficient amount and in healthy environment and food requirement food requirement for broilers and egg layers are different in the case of broilers as you know we need meat from that therefore in the case of broilers the food should be rich in fat and proteins whereas in the case of egg layers the food should be rich that are grains and comparatively less rich in proteins and fats now next one is feed production there are many sources are there marine fresh water and we obtain large number of fishes each year and coastal people depend on it 
and it includes fin trip species that means examples are catching katla rohu etc and also it includes shellfish like prawn in hindi it is called jhinga and mollusk fish obtained by capture fishing from the natural sources like pond sea lake rivers and also through culture fishing and it is called fish farming now you can see fish production the sources of water sources and water sources are marine and inland fisheries and examples of marine fishes are tuna sardines bombay duck etc and inland fish fisheries that means pond lake rivers and example of fishes are katla rohu etc now for sustainable practices we must encourage composite fish culture then what is this, this composite fish culture it is a culture in combination with a rice crop that means fish production with in a paddy field and in this case five to six fish species is used in a single fish pond and species with different food habits are selected then what are the advantages advantages are that food available in all parts of the pond is used how you can see the picture there are three fish three layers first one is top feeder and top in this area the katla the fish katla feed and take food from this layer second layer is middle zone layer and in this layer rohu takes its food and third one is bottom feeder and it is common carp that means in this way we see that all parts of the pond the food available in all parts of the pond is utilized by the fish and it it is very effective culture of fish culture we get paddy crop as well as we get fish and uh, one more important thing all parts of the pond food available in all parts of the pond is utilized now next one is bee keeping advantages of bee keeping is it needs low investment as we know people of india most people of india have no not much money and they cannot not afford much therefore it the bee keeping is suitable for them and also bee keeping is resources of wax that means they can sell honey we honey as well as they can sell wax and desirable character characteristics of a bee for honey production are good honey collection capacity ability to protect itself from the enemies many enemies are there of the honey bee like bear and other animals they may damage their comb therefore they must have the ability to protect themselves from the enemies now common varieties of honey bee are apis serena indica apis flora etc and also quality of honey bee or honey depends on pasturage so what is this pasturage 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 is the flowers around the surrounding and for example in kashmir almond flowers are found and honey bee collect nectar
from these almond flowers and this type of honey honey is considered to be excellent very good because this pasture is that means nectar is of good quality and if the flowers found in surrounding is good then the quality of honey will also improved now we can conclude from this that scientific management of animal livestock like cattle poultry birds fish honey bee can be done through feeding breeding and disease control also we discussed about composite fish culture how all parts of the water source can be utilized next we also discussed about the bee keeping and what is the role of pasturage to obtain the good quality honey now practice time let us see first question is which method is commonly used for improving cattle breeds and why what will be the answer we discussed it is cross breeding cross breeding for what to get the desirable characteristics or features as we have seen that we cross breed between the local breeds with the foreign breeds of cattle to get the desired quality question number 2 what are the differences between broiler and egg layers and in their management we had discussed it now you can compare and answer it very easily in the case of broilers what is required and in the case of egg layers what is required as i said we re require meat then food will be food should be rich in fat and protein whereas in the case of egg layers it require grains second recall as i said in the case of broilers protection protection from various diseases is required where age in the case of egg layers sufficient space and light is required next question number 3 what are the advantage of composite fish culture you can answer it very easily what i said in the case of composite fish culture all parts of the pond pond is utilized and for that three to four types of fish are selected one are surface feeder that means they get food from the surface part of the pond next one is middle zone feeder they obtain their food from the middle part of the pond and next bottom feeder that means this type of fish obtain their food from the bottom part of the pond 
and also this pond is in paddy field that means we get food grains as well as fish and each part of the pond is utilized by the fish and these are the advantages of composite fish culture next question what is pasturage and how is it related to honey production we also discussed it pasturage are flowers of the surrounding area if the quality of flowers are good we get good quality of honey i also said that in kashmir almond flowers are found in amandent therefore the honey quality of this area is very good so students we discussed about crop production in previous session and in this session if we discussed about animal husbandry and how we can effectively do the animal husbandry by means of breeding feeding and disease control these are the three main area through which we can do the animal husbandry management very effectively hope you have got it very well and you do practice you read the books search in net and i i am sure that you will surely benefited from it thank you